since I arrived here in the city of Akron, I've been uh, down a number of officers like every other city in this country. Uh, and everybody's looking at ways to do more with less. I know that's a, a cliche, doing more with less, but it is something that uh, officers or uh, police departments are looking at. So I looked at where our calls to service are, where our manpower is being used, and just tried to be efficient and fill, uh, fill out where are some of the areas that we could do better, be more efficient. And one of the things I learned early on was alarm calls. I learned that every city has the same problem went to the International Chiefs of Police Conference, met with folks, there, there are uh, many different people talking about reduce, reducing alarm calls. 99% of all alarm calls are false. Uh, it, it's a horrible system and companies are selling alarms and they're going off for a variety of reasons. The, the homeowners, the business owners are setting them off themselves electronically, they're faulty but almost every call to service, we send two cars as a false alarm. And uh, 26,000 calls, in the last 26,000 calls, we've gotten three uh, misdemeanor arrests. It's just not getting us to solve burglaries. We solve burglaries, but we solve them because of investigative work that we do, uh, neighbors calling and letting us know that uh, somebody's breaking into a house. Alarms generally scare people away. Alarms work. Uh, as an alarm goes off, people usually disappear. And as a result, when we arrive, there's nobody there. Uh, it's just an inefficient uh, use of police resources. What I can do with the same resources is to uh, look at the crime problems in burglaries and do investigative work to actually solve them. Going to, like every police department, going to false alarms two cars at a time uh, is inefficient. In Akron, we have over 10,000 uh, false alarms a year. Almost all of them are false, so uh, there's no bang for the buck, no return on investment. In this day and age with cell phones, I imagine that something really is going on. The majority of the people have a phone that they're gonna call. They do. We, we get calls and, and burglaries in progress all the time. Uh, most calls are not burglaries that scare people away. Uh, they're just electronic malfunctions and it's it's rampant in the industry and and uh, police executives talk about it uh, quite a bit uh, we've done our rollout we've talked to city council we've talked to the uh, media we've talked to chamber of commerce the alarm companies and actually it's being received real well in the city of akron they understand doing the right thing with police resources uh, alarms are advancing in this day and age so nowadays uh, alarms are going to be uh, they have cameras, they have motion detectors, they've got uh, where you can listen in to the inside of a house and we've only moved to verified alarm. We're still going to panic alarms, we're going to hold up alarms, uh, we're going to alarms that are verified, meaning anybody sees anybody going in a house, if an alarm's going off, that's not an alarm, that's a burglary in progress. And we're still putting them into the mobile data terminal, so they're still showing. As soon as an alarm goes off, it's showing in the, the police cruiser's screens. So if they're not on another call, they're still going to go to those, but they're not going to be dispatched away from other calls and tied up going to false alarms.